Algebra 2, Section 1.5, Part 2. Uh, before we get into the worksheet, by the way, we may, I uh, will have made this worksheet available to you front and back for Parts 1 and Part 2 of 1.5. Uh, you're welcome to print that out and, and practice along or practice along just on line paper. Uh, I do think strongly that you should practice along. Uh, before I get to the worksheet, uh, I want to kind of pick up where we left off in 1.4. First of all, I hope you watched my 1.4 video, and I hope you've watched the 1.5 part one. If you have not watched either of those, you should not be uh, attempting this yet. This is uh, puts those two things together, and it kind of ch uh, is really the most challenging part. No, no doubt it's the most challenging part of chapter one, but what we're about to, to do here, okay? Um, so... Picking up where I left off, I think it was right around the nine and a half minute mark if uh, someone needed to go back and look. In my 1-4 video, I had uh, two, two uh, uh, examples that came out with these two solutions. One of them used and and one of them used or. And we did talk about the number lines even. Uh, I want to make kind of one more point about these each. Uh, again, the and situation often gives you an interval, whereas the or situation, they're often going away from each other. And I remember in the video, I made the point, you know, about different numbers that would be both greater than or equal to negative one and less than three. And that's all everything that's along this segment. I'm not going to say the whole thing again. I'm not going to spend several minutes talking about it, but just remind you what, where we're at here. And then anything out here, you know, that's negative two, negative three, negative four does not meet this criteria. Anything out here starting at three does not meet this criteria because of the um, the strength of the word and you have to be both this and this. Or isn't as strong. It's either one or the other. And uh, that's why something can be less than negative four or greater than negative two. We graphed everything that's one or the other. It's less than negative four or it's greater than negative two. Uh, if you picked something in here, that's going to meet neither one then, right? Because it's not either less than negative four or greater than uh, negative two. Now, here's, here's the thing that I want to say about this right here. This, using the word and, can be and should be written uh, slightly differently. And this is going to uh, go right into today's lesson. Of course, this could be rewritten as negative 1 is less than or equal to x. And if you take then that in conjunction with this, the way this should be written is negative 1 less than or equal to x less than 3. I know I made the point that I like the variable on the left, but in specifically in the and situation, this is the and situation, it should be written this way. That really highlights... Uh, the fact that it's an interval here and pairs well with the number line uh, as it appears. Okay, so with that, we're going to tackle this worksheet here. It says at the top, uh, the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to k is equivalent to x is less than or equal to negative k or x is greater than or equal to k. Okay. I'm just filling, filling in blanks here. Whereas, so that's, that's that was the greater than situation. If it's less than, that is the absolute values on the left, and then you've got less than or less than or equal to. Um, if, if the or equal to weren't here, then the or equal to just wouldn't be here. You understand? Uh, is equivalent to negative k is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to k. All right? Now this, as we as just highlighted a minute ago, this is going to be the and situation. This is going to be the or situation. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come back to what goes here uh, for right now. Let's just uh, start to do this. Here's, here's the way we want you to tackle this type of problem, okay? It says the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 7. For the moment, I want to forget what's in the absolute value. Let's just call it a question mark. Think about the numbers that would make this true. Would 8 make this true? 8's absolute value is greater than or equal to 7. Yep. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, and on up. Okay, what about 6? Six? 6's absolute value would be 6, and that's not greater than or equal to 7. Neither is 5, neither is 4, neither is keep going down. 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. But when you get to negative 7, then you'll be, uh, then you'll be uh, correct again, or it'll be making the inequality true, I guess I should say. Negative 7, when you take the absolute value of it, is equal to 7, and that's the first place where it starts up again. So basically what we're saying is it's an or situation on a number line. And I need to make it really clear right now that the number line that I'm about to draw is not the number line uh, that, you're, that you, know, you might be asked to graph, um, but is going to help you conceptualize this. If here's zero, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, negative. Here's negative seven. Probably didn't need to put all those hash marks in. Uh, we're talking about an or situation that does this. Okay? So that means that that to say, and I'm going to erase this now just to give myself to, some room to write. That is to say that what's in there, x minus 3, is either greater than or equal to 7, or x minus 3 is less than or equal to negative 7. That's what you just saw on my number line. Okay? And now you're just going to solve it like we did in section 1, 4. Uh, add 3 to both sides here. You'd have x is greater than or equal to 10. Or, and it's very important that you include or in your answer. Here, if you would add 3 to both sides, you're going to have x is less than or equal to negative 4. This is your solution. And again, now, uh, I, I don't think the directions actually say to graph it, but you will be asked to do this on the homework, so just let's just make sure we include it here. Uh, we, can, we can graph that solution. Um, I'll go by twos. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is here. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Here's negative 4. So we've got a closed circle shading this way at negative 4. A closed circle at negative 10 shading that way. Sorry, I had to jam it in here a little bit, but yeah, hopefully you can see that. Okay, now let's do that again. This is the or situation. Again, ask yourself first, the absolute value of what? It's 2x minus 5, but forget about that for now. What would go in here to be greater than or equal to 12? Well, that would be 12, 13, 14, etc. cetera. Uh, it would also be negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, et cetera, in that direction, okay? So again, if you want to conceptualize this on a number line, here's 0, here's 12, here's negative 12. We're talking about this. This is the or situation, okay? Now, again, what's in there specifically is 2x minus 5. 2x minus 5 is either greater than or equal to 12, like this, or less than or equal to negative 12. And I wish I could leave that there, but I just don't have the space to do so. So maybe, maybe you can write smaller and leave it on your sheet. Again, what did I say? 2x minus 5 is either greater than or equal to 12, or 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to negative 12. Okay? And then we finish by solving. Add, uh, add 5. And divide by 2. Uh, here, add 5. And divide by 2. Include or, especially in your answer. And I don't think we need to practice graphing that again. We've practiced that a couple of times. So that's a less than or equal to. That's a 3 there. Okay. The or situation. Okay, now I should I should mention at this point, I really should say this from the start, is I know this is going to be a longer video. I don't know what the time is actually going to end up being because I'm in the middle of making it. But uh, if you need to process this, if you feel like I should have made this two videos or three or whatever, uh, use the pause button, okay, because I'm just going to keep going here. And uh, if you gotta, you got to take some time to process or practice a few, uh, that's, that's you taking ownership of your own learning. All right? Now, here's the and situation. This is uh, the other thing that can happen. It's less than. Uh, absolute value of 2x plus 8 is less than 16. Again, ask yourself what in here would be less than or equal to 16. Well, starting at 16 and going down, right? 16, 15, 14, 13, all the way down to 0 and then into the negative, and it's negative uh, 3, negative 4, negative 5, all the way up to negative 16. This is an interval. This is the and situation. So now we're talking about if this is 0 and this is 16 and this is negative 16, we're talking about all the numbers that are in between here. So this is the and situation, right? And it's greater than negative 16, or equal to, and it's less than negative 16. So with that in mind, we want to create that interval situation. 
I keep saying interval, you know what I'm talking about, right? A line segment, okay? And that would be like this. Negative 16, less than or equal to 2x plus 8, less than or equal to 16. Now let's pause and process that for just a second. If I cover up this part right here, just pretend like this isn't here right now, okay? This is saying 2x plus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 16. That's what we just said. It's, yeah, it's greater than or equal to 16. And also, if I cover up this part, it's saying 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 16. It's greater than or equal to negative 16. It's less than or equal to 16. This is the and situation, although we're not really using the word and because this is uh, this notation is superior to two separate inequalities that say and. Please use this. Okay. And now, you're so used to whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right when you're solving equations and inequalities. Well, there's something very similar to this, but it's actually in three places instead of two. That's the only difference. Uh, it's three places instead of two. If you are going to try to get x by itself here in the middle, we're going to need to subtract 8, not just from both sides, because there's actually, in a way, three sides. You're going to subtract 8 here, you're going to subtract 8 here, you're going to subtract 8 here. Negative 16 minus 8 would be negative 24. 2x plus 8 minus 8 would leave you with just 2x. And 16 minus 8 is 8. And then, to get x by itself, you need to divide all three places by 2. Divide by 2 here to make it x. Divide 8 by 2 to get 4. Divide negative 24 by 2 to be negative 12. Negative 12, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4. This is the correct answer. And if we want a number line, I'll just model it on this one and not the next one. Again, I'll go by 2. So here's 0, 2, 4 can be there. Negative 4, negative 8, negative 12 is there. You get, I really require just two numbers on a number line that shows a consistent scale. You don't necessarily have to put it where your point's going to go. It's kind of convenient to do that, though. Here and there. Okay, this is the and situation. Let's take that one more time. Um, for this to work, did you notice in the properties above that the absolute value is isolated? For this to work that I'm talking about now, you do need to get the absolute value isolated first. Right now, uh, what's, what is the absolute value is being multiplied by 3 and subtracted by 9. So we need to undo those things in reverse order by first adding 9. So this would be 3 times the absolute value of 2x plus 6. Adding 9 would give you 24 here. Dividing both sides by 3. Uh, by the way, if I divided by negative 3, the inequality sign would switch, but I'm not dividing by negative. I'm dividing by 3. So this is just the absolute value of 2x plus 6 less than 8. Okay. And now we can kind of ask the same question. What numbers, I'm not even going to write it this time, but question mark in here, what numbers, uh, when you take the absolute value of it, would be less than 8? Okay. Well, the positive numbers that would be less than 8 would be uh, starting at 8 and going down. <clears throat> so, to, again, just to use integers, 7, 6, 5, all of those, and all the numbers in between those, uh, and the negatives, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, all the way up to uh, 8, not including it, though, because this is not or equal to, okay? So, again, an interval situation from negative 8 to 8. So, we're saying that 2x plus 6 is less than 8. I'm saying this a little bit differently this time just to maybe uh, trigger some learning for you. Uh, it's less than 8. It's also greater than negative 8. Okay? And then we solve. Subtracting 6. This would be negative 14. Less than 2x. Less than 2. And then dividing by 2, you're going to get negative 7. Less than x. Less than 1. This is the and situation. Okay. Now, uh, lastly, uh, if you're this, this is the way we think. I think that you can conceptualize things the best for the or situation. This is the way I think you can conceptualize things uh, the best for the and situation. The pre-calc teachers would want you to understand things this way. Okay. However, some people are in favor of tricks, and I'm not totally against tricks. And I'm going to tell you what the trick is right now. Uh, I don't, again, if you're pre-calc bound, I don't think you should be using the trick, but if you want to, if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. And basically it's this. Think go LA, like if, if you're a uh, Lakers fan or something, right? Go LA. 
GO, which stands for greater or. Greater or. Greater meaning that would lead you to do the or situation. Okay, and that's what we did here. These are both, you know, absolute value, inequality sign, and then everything else. Oftentimes it's just a number, but it doesn't have to be just a number. It's just everything else, right? So like we did here, we moved things over so that you had the absolute value isolated. If you have that, again here, absolute value of something, and then the inequality sign, and then everything else. If you have that, then the greater than symbol is going to mean it's going to be an or situation. I bet you can guess what the LA stands for then. Less, if it's a less than, is going to imply and. Okay. So if my uh, question mark, look at it on a number line ex explanation, didn't work so well on these four for you, uh, maybe greater or less and works for you instead. Okay. All right. I think that's all I wanted to say. Oh, yeah, one, one other thing. In case somebody wanted to practice a few more, they're both or situations for some reason, but that's just what, what we have here on these examples. Uh, there's two others that you could practice, and uh, these are the solutions to them. All right, thanks for watching.